Hello, this is Adam Taylor, and I'm demoing uh, sorry, Livestream.com and how to use the Procaster. Uh, Livestream is a live broadcasting site that allows you to broadcast um, video as well as um, just yourself, so it's pretty basic. Uh, if you download Procaster, you can do more. You can broadcast video of yourself and what you're displaying on your screen. And that's how I use this tool, um, especially for education. I use it for test review sessions in the evenings with students or uh, snow day lessons and classes um, with students, and it, it works pretty well. So first of all, I'm going to show you what the student sees when they watch you and uh, what you see um, when you're discussing things with students. So here's the here's an old recording of me having a review with us with some students. This is what they were seeing. They were seeing a live feed of my face, and sometimes they would I would switch to the screen where they could see my um, my computer screen if I were sharing a PowerPoint or a video or something. And normally over here on the side there would be a little embedded chat room where the students can ask questions and I can answer them uh, through the video to the live video feed. Now the student, I don't see the students, it's not a two-way video, it's a one-way video and they respond through the embedded chat room and the live uh, chat to uh, ask questions or respond to questions that I ask or even post links to websites or videos that uh, may be useful for the group. So um, it's a great tool. Okay, now as the broadcaster, what do I see? Well, if you're using Procaster, there's a little download you'll need to go and get, and that um, I have to go to the to the home screen. Okay, so here's the live or here's the uh, livestream.com website, um, the home page, and this is where you'll get signed up and whatnot. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, if you're going to use Procaster, the download is down here at the bottom. Procaster. It's a pretty basic download. Uh, they'll ask you some questions like your name, stuff like that, and uh, it is free. So, but um, anyway, when you download Procaster and you open Procaster up, uh, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see this little box right here. Let me uh, change screens real quick. Okay, you're going to see this little Procaster box right here, where this is how you start uh, broadcasting, and this is your channel and chat and that's the live chat you'll see with students so I'm gonna go ahead and start broadcasting uh, actually I forgot to show you the webcam and then the the uh, level of of quality of the video so I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna click go live and then you're gonna a little, a little toolbar will pop up at the bottom of your, bottom of your screen um, now if you look there's several different parts to this screen kind of ignore the chat for now but anyway down here in the left corner this is what is displayed on the what the student will see at the moment right now it's set on my computer screen but I'm gonna switch it to camera okay so as you can see me moving my head back and forth um, that's what the student will see unless I change the screen and I'll explain that in a second as well so here's the time I've been broadcasting um, here's the start stop mixer has to do with audio don't worry about that usually it's preset and you're fine camera this is how you choose what uh, what you're going to be displaying so cameras on me now that's why you can see me over here I'm going to change it to my screen and let's say I want to show them a PowerPoint or a presentation or a little picture or something and ask questions about it then I I'll click on screen and then they'll be able to see everything in my screen now also if you notice you don't see the chat box and you don't see the toolbar in the screen it may be hard to see but there is no toolbar down here and so the students will not see that um, and which is nice also you can do a 2d where you've got your video feed and whatever's on your screen and then if you want to get funky with your 2d and change it to 3d so they speak said so, so they say that you're gonna have your screen at an angle and then the face of you right there anyway so I like to keep it as basic as I can so I'm switching back just to show what's on my screen 
All right, now there's a zoom in, zoom out feature. You really don't need to worry about that. Um, but real quick, if it does interest you, if you push zoom in, you'll notice these little green bars coming into the screen. Those bars allow you to adjust what part of the screen you're showing. Um, and if you want to just zoom in on a little segment, then that's all they'll see. So right now I've got it zoomed on on this advertisement right here. Um, anyway, so that's something you can do. Okay, so I'm, go ahead and pause the video for a second. And if you've had any questions while you've been listening, write those questions down. Uh, you can pause it at any time, but I will give you a couple of prompts to pause and write down questions just to make sure you take that opportunity uh, to um, ask some questions. So anyway, pause the video, come back when you're ready. All right. So here's a little bit more detail about how I how I use this with students and what seems to have worked for other teachers as well. Uh, from stuff I've learned from other teachers. Um, let's say I wanted to review a concept that there happened to be a good YouTube video for. I could actually bring up YouTube, show them the video through Screen uh, Procaster, and um, then they could type in responses that would pop up over here. Um, now the way the chat works is that while they're watching the broadcast there's a live chat on the side here they have a little box that they'll be able to type in their question and then they'll be able to give a response and I'm gonna get to a window like that so you can see what I'm talking about alright I have found a broadcast of the gubernatorial, gubernatorial elections in since or in Ohio as well as some other places that are going on. So I'm going to demonstrate how the chat works. So here's the chat, the live chat, while the video is running. So this is a live video happening while I'm recording this uh, demonstration. So if I wanted to say something, I type in my response and I click say. Now if you'll notice that it pops up with my with my ID that I use for, for, uh, for live stream. Now, if a student doesn't have a live stream ID, it's no big deal. They can go ahead and type something in, click say, and then it'll pop up and say, what's your nickname? And then they just put in their first name, and they don't have to sign in, and then every response they put in from then on will have their first name. So if their first name is John, then John will pop up here with John's response to what's being talked about, what you're broadcasting, or, or the review session you're doing, or, or whatnot. So it's a great tool, and let me show you how it'll work out on um, with your broadcast. So let me go back to the camera. Okay, so whatever I've got on my screen will show up on the student screen um, if I have it set to screen. Right now I've got it set to camera, so they're going to see my face. Um, and I'm going to have the chat going on. So. The important thing to do while you're reviewing concepts with students is to continually check the chat. Um, when you've reviewed a couple of points from a from a PowerPoint or whatever, then you'll you need to make sure that you're going over here and, and seeing if students are responding because this is how they're going to communicate with you. Um, now, don't type in your responses. The joy of this is that you can see their questions and you can respond through the video audio feed that they are seeing typing in a response and trying to talk the response is going to be a joke. Um, now if you can get another teacher into the chat with you or into the broadcast with you then they can also help monitor the questions that pop up in the chat um, which makes it really easy. They will not be a part of the broadcast but they will be a part of the, of the live chat so they'll be watching you just as the students are watching you but able to participate on the side here. Now you can see there's an opportunity to use Facebook or Twitter if the student or you have a Facebook or a Twitter account and you can use that as your chatting feature. Um, that is not required and I guess I kind of discourage it even though those are great tools for learning. Um, I would just use the basic chat with live stream and just keep that as your main, as your main tool. Um, but those options are there if that's something that interests you. All right, I think that's the basic rundown. Um, I will make another video on how to embed uh, your live stream recordings on uh, a website and make it available for students to view later. 
Um, but as of right now, um, that is it for this demonstration. If you have any questions, please email me or call me. Uh, this was designed for the, the IWOC, the Inclement Weather Online Class program we're trying to start for uh, snow days so AP teachers can still teach um, even when there's snow days so they don't have to lose, lose instructional time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped and uh, let me know if you have any questions adam.taylor at mnps.org or you can also find me on Twitter at 2 foot giraffe, the number 2 foot giraffe. Alright, thanks.